In this ImageQuantiel version 10 tutorial video, we will provide an overview of the contrast tool and how it can be used to improve the quantitation of your images. Specifically, we will be looking at adjusting the contrast settings to optimize for high signal or low signal, adding color overlay to single or multiplex images, and finally utilizing the heat map or threshold color overlays for multi-well plate analysis. Once we open our image, we can access the contrast tool by selecting the display button along the top. Here we see a histogram showing the distribution of pixel intensities throughout the dynamic range with predetermined optimized contrast setting. When we select full, we can see the entire dynamic range. And since we are looking at a 16-bit image, the maximum pixel intensity we see here is 65,535. We can manually adjust our contrast settings by clicking and pulling on the upper and lower limits shown here. And this will adjust our contrast settings. We can also manually input values for the upper and lower limits by choosing the manual button here. While the current contrast settings are ideal for resolving our high abundance bands shown here, we can also adjust our contrast settings to resolve our lower abundance bands, which will begin to show up at the slightly higher molecular weight. By pulling on this upper threshold and making it lower, we can begin to resolve those higher molecular weight bands, shown here. Keep in mind that adjusting our brightness and contrast has no effect on the actual pixel intensities. The contrast setting can be adjusted to a preferred level throughout the analysis process depending on the current step that is being performed. Along with adjusting our contrast, we can also apply a color overlay to our image using this pulled on menu shown here. Single channel images traditionally use grayscale with the signal being black or white if we are looking at a DNA gel. We can also use this pull down to apply any color overlay shown on this list, including a pseudo coloring that would make the image look like either a Kumasi gel or like a silver stain gel. Once again, keep in mind that the color overlay has no effect on the underlying pixel intensities. If we are analyzing a multiplex image, the process is very similar. If we go to the display function, we can see that we can adjust the contrast or the color overlay for each channel independently. Finally, we have heat map and threshold color overlays, which are most commonly used when analyzing multi-well plates from the array analysis module. To access those, we simply use this pull down here to look at our different heat map options. For example, in this case, we can use the heat map to represent relative pixel intensities within the 2D image, where we have our background shown as blue and our highest intensities displayed as red. We have several other heat map options available showing different color ranges. Finally, we have the different threshold settings shown here that will quickly and efficiently separate our spots depending on the threshold chosen. For example, at a 50% threshold, anything below 50% of the maximum pixel intensity in the image will be shown as blue, and anything above that threshold will be displayed as red.